one semi. Franklin from Ohio, led by Duke signee Luke Kennard, took on Huff from North Carolina. Kennard hit eight three-pointers, finished with 39 points. Franklin had no problem winning 77-53 to over Huff. The Franklin Wildcats are headed to the title game. Kennard set a new beach ball scoring record with 130 points in just three games. That, that record is a team record. Um, I, I wouldn't have been able to accomplish any of that without my teammates. Uh, it was a great team win for us tonight. I'm really excited in the championship tomorrow. Um, I really don't think anybody expected us to be there, but you know we're excited. We're going to celebrate tonight, and we'll be ready tomorrow. In the other semifinal, Bishop Gorman from Nevada faced Sagemont from Florida. Duke signee Chase Jeter. Gorman's 6'10 center takes a lob pass and scores easily. This is a high-flying team, and Charles O'Bannon Jr. with the lob pass off the break slams it down, and Bishop Gorman goes on to win it 64-49. So it'll be Bishop Gorman and Franklin in the finals tomorrow night at 7.30 for the Beach Ball Classic Championship. In a beach ball consolation game, Jalik Felton and the Mullins Auctioneers took on Northland out of Ohio. Felton, early in the game, knocks down a three. He hit four triples on the day, finished with 33 points. But Seth Towns countered with 31 tallies and the Northland Vikings were just too much in this one. 79-63, Northland wins it over Mullins. After the game, we caught up with Felton, who made his verbal commitment to play for head coach Roy Williams in the North Carolina Tar Heels. I've been a North Carolina fan since I was way young. And uh, I just talked to Roy, and today was the day. I just felt like when I woke up this morning, I was just, I felt it. I just felt the need to, you know, make that commitment to him. You know, my uncle going there, seeing his jersey in the Raptors, seeing Jordan in the Raptors, and Carolina Blue fits me.